Is God's idea about asking us to save sex for marriage really about going to hell? Yeah? Does he say when you have sex before marriage, to get to hellfire? So in December 2022, I held a class where I brought in parents of girls. My biggest class ever, I think. Um, I asked them to come, let's talk about how to raise a daughter who says no to sex. It was a big class and everybody came willing and ready to learn. And we had the most remarkable conversations. I have the replay to that class on YouTube. I encourage you to go and watch. But something came out of that class. And the question was, why should your daughter choose purity? Or rather, what are you telling your daughter is the reason why they should choose purity? That is what I'm talking about today. Is it hellfire or could there be more? To choosing purity welcome to today's video my name is irene bangwell i'm a girls coach i'm always talking to you about how we can raise our daughters the bible way so let's say your daughter did something wrong or let me not say your daughter because our goal is to help them you know stand let's say a random girl had sex before marriage the real question is does God love her? So God loves us even if we do the wrong things. Will God forgive her if she asks and repents? Of course God will forgive her. So it means that it's got to be more than hellfire. For Christian parents, sometimes we don't even have enough, you know, weapons in our kitty. And so we just throw hellfire. But you know, right now, children know a bit more. And the real question is, how many people who are having sex are going to hell? To come back to the conversation, I want to tell you three things to talk to your daughters about. That is a real reason why sex is a no-no. Rule number one, one of the things that God wants us to be able to do is to have dominion over our feelings, to have dominion over our desires. So if you're going to be a person that is in relationship with God or growing in your relationship with God, you have to be someone that ignores your feelings. That means you feel like exploding, but you won't. So you desire somebody's husband, but you won't. You won't act on it. And someone's husband comes to you as handsome as he looks, money in the pocket, you're able to say no. So the first reason that God tells us to not have sex before marriage is so that we master how to control our feelings so that our feelings don't control us. The main reason why our feelings should not control us is because our feelings are unable to think. Our feelings will not think about consequence. Our feelings will not think about the danger. Our feelings will not think about the risk. Our feelings cannot think. And so it means that you can make a decision now, momentarily, but live with the impact for a very long time. So can you imagine if this is the perspective you're giving your children outside of hellfire? And so what it means is that if I want to build my children's muscle to say no to sex, I'm going to be teaching them self-control in other areas so they are used to feeling like doing something but still able to think about it and say, no, I'm not going to act on it because there are consequences. So the first reason is, is really about controlling our emotions. The second reason that God doesn't want us to have sex before marriage is because of soul ties. Now, when you've been in the church for such a long time, you don't really realize that there's negative power out there and there are demons out there, all right? And so it means that, the Bible says, anyone that sleeps with a prostitute is one with her. There's a soul tie, there's a coming together. I mean, I listened to a story of a woman who got into a relationship with someone, and before we know it, from one problem to the other, and she ended up losing her mind. So soul ties are real. And maybe someone says, um, I, I, I don't really understand the soul tie part. Let me just give you something to think about. When people are having sex outside of marriage, whether they're single people or married people, having sex with someone they're not married to, do you not know that it gives an entry into Satan? Because that's a demonic experience. Satan wants to be, be a part of that. So Satan is excited at the downward spiral. Do you get the idea? So there are those consequences. It's like giving Satan an inroad into your life. That's more compelling than hellfire. Some people are living on earth in hell. Some people are already experiencing their hell right here on earth. It doesn't need to be something that happens after they die. One of the problems with telling your children that it's about hellfire is that you postpone the real consequence. You make them think that it's something that will happen much later in life. So it's not urgent enough. As they get older, they overcome the fear that you're trying to sow into them. Other people are giving them all kinds of ideas. And the third thing I want to talk about is that there's a blackmail that comes with sex. 
and I'm going to, I hope I can paint it well. Holy Spirit, help me. This black male looks like this. You had sex with someone and you've broken up with them. I'm not talking about abortions. I'm not talking about getting pregnant. I'm not even talking about infections. I'm talking about mental health now. You had sex with someone and then you find out that they may be cheating on you. It's difficult to break up. There's that black male. They're bad for you, but because of our sex, you're still staying. He's beating her. Because of our sex, it's difficult to break up. So let's say she eventually broke up and she's trying to get out there to get employment, to get a job. She's struggling to get employment. Satan takes advantage of it. Is it not you that had sex with this? Is it not you that did this? Is it not you that did that? Don't forget that there may be other people that are really wild, that are getting on as if nothing happened, but there are the, the children that if they started in church, they started in God and they derail, Satan is going to be using this black male for the rest of their lives. Oh, you don't deserve this because you did this. You don't deserve that because you did that. So you're trying to tell your children they don't need to walk this route. So here's the thing. You want your child growing up learning that we have to align with God. You'll feel like it. But God, God is smarter. God created this world. So he's saying it's a trap. Is a, is a minefield, is a trap, is endless what can come out of this. I remember meeting this young woman who had sex with some guy and ended up losing her mind. Nobody knows how the depression shows up for the other. And then there's even research that is saying that when girls have sex, they're six times more suicidal than girls who are not having sex. Can you play with that? So let's move away from it's just hellfire that comes later on in life and start looking at the hellfire that is present here. Did you learn something from this video? If you didn't, let me just help you ask the question in the comment and I would clarify. If there are other things you'd like me to do a video and I want to hear, if there's something you'd like to add to this video, trust me, I'm always looking forward to listen to you too. So in the meantime, make sure you're sharing this video, whether you're watching it on YouTube or Instagram, if you're watching on YouTube, Make sure to subscribe and share the links to the video with other people to watch as well. And if you're watching on Instagram, please click the follow and tag as many friends as possible, raising girls to watch with you. But one thing I want you to go away with is, we're not asking our girls to not have sex before marriage because of hell. It's not about hellfire. It's something more empowering than that. so much for stopping by today i hope you learned something and that you've taken away some actionable steps that you can get working on one of the things we've done is design different resources to support you and your daughters we have some links i um, mean running across the screen or in the caption that give you access to our online store so you can purchase some of the resources we have and get using it in your home and if you'd like to talk with us we have a whatsapp number scrolling on the screen and also in the caption whatever you do make sure you take actions towards the things you've learned today and I'm always looking out to support you one way or the other. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode.